Hello, I'm Sean Kidd and I'm going to be showing you how to make a potato monster puppet. I'm an artist and puppetry practitioner based in Bristol. In previous years I've been programmed to perform at Beverly with our Mirth and Misery show Death Puppet Klezmer Jam. I've also taught my Bony Wonders marionette making workshop where we create puppets from natural and found objects. What you will need Scissors String Bamboo skewers A potato Materials to make eyes And some things from outside Control Body Arms Feet And hair Step one, making the body. The first step is to attach the shoulders securely to the body. Step two, making the arms. You'll need two upper and two lower pieces for your arms. Try and make sure that they're roughly the same length. We're going to create an arm joint and we need to start here. We're going to use string to create our arm joints. Make a loop and ensure that you've got plenty of string left over. Wrap down and then back up the stick towards the loop. Now thread the end of your string through the loop. And see how when you pull the other end of the string, it will pull the loop through to secure it. Now tie the two ends together and create another loop. Now we're going to attach the lower arm. Take a length of string and hold it in place. Leave at least 10 centimetres of overhang. You want to wrap the string back and over itself to secure it without tying a knot. A bit like this. Wrap the string really tight so it can't unravel. Cut to an equal length and then tie really securely. To attach your arm together, take the string from the lower arm and thread it through the loop on the upper arm. Tie that securely in place, but make sure that the arm is straight when you do. Now you've created your arm joint. Repeat step two in exactly the same way with the other arm. Step three attaching the arms to the shoulders. We're going to use the same technique that we did for the lower arm. Take a length of string and hold it in place, leaving sufficient overhang. Wrap the string back and over itself really tightly to secure it. Cut an equal length of string and then tie that securely in place. to attach here, so now we need to add string to the shoulder. We're going to use the same technique as we did for the upper arm. Make a loop and ensure that you've got enough string to work with. 
hold it in place at the end of the shoulder. You want to wrap down over the string and then wrap back up again towards the loop really tightly. Cut the end and thread it through the loop like this. Now normally we'd pull the other end to secure it, but this time we don't want to. We're going to hold on to that loop and use it to secure in the arm in a second. Take the strings at the top of the arm and tie them securely through the loop. Great! Your arm is now attached, but it's going to be too loose at the moment. So, now you want to pull the string on the shoulder to tighten up that gap. There should be enough space that the arm can move freely, so make adjustments to make sure that this can happen. Now repeat that process with the other arm. Step four, the head. Take your potato and whatever you're gonna be using for the hair and the eyes. We're gonna fix the hair in place by making a hole in the potato and then pushing the hair in securely. Make sure you're being really careful when you're working with a sharp blade. Next, decide on a position for the eyes. I'm using cloves and hazelnuts, but you could use anything that you find around the house or the garden. also added nostrils and teeth, but you might want to add some other features instead. The next thing we need to do is create a neck for our puppet. We're going to use our bamboo skewer to make a vertical hole at the back of the head. Then, you're going to thread a long length of string through that hole. Step 5. Attaching the head to the body. First, tie the neck string in a knot. Hold the head in position. It needs to be fairly loose to have good movement. When you're happy, tie it in place. Make sure that you wrap it around a few times and go in and out of the loop at the back of the head to make it extra specially secure.
going to add some leaves to my puppet to create a kind of tail. Step six, making the control. Make sure your control stick is at least as long as your puppet. You'll need two crossbars, one for the head and one for the shoulders. Lay them parallel with the puppet to find their correct position on the main control. Notice how both of the crossbars are wide, if not wider than the head and shoulders of the puppet. This is important. Secure them both in place by wrapping and knotting with string. Leave the head crossbar slightly loose. When you're finished, trim any excess string for neatness. You'll also need another fairly long stick for your leg bar. Step seven, stringing. Start with the head. We need to find the balance point. Pinch with your fingers to find out where the sweet spot is. It should be roughly in the middle and closer to the top. Use your skewer to then make a hole. And then hold it up to check that it balances okay. Next, you need to cut a metre of string. You're going to thread it through the head hole you just made with the bamboo skewer. You need to make sure that the string is even on both sides. Next, you need to cut three pieces of 70 centimetre long string. You're going to tie one to each end of the shoulder and one to your puppet's bum. Make sure that the knots that you tie are at the top. You might need a hand with this next bit. Tie the head strings to the head crossbar and try and make sure that they're even. Then, you want to try the shoulder strings to the shoulder crossbar. You want to make sure that your puppet's shoulders are level. Try and make sure that the head is higher than the body. Now, you need to tie the bum string to the back of the control. Finally, we need to attach the leg bar. Cut two pieces of string at a metre long. Tie them to the middle of the elbow joint. Make sure that the arms can still move freely. Now, tie the other end to either side of your leg bar. Your potato monster puppet is now finished and it's time to bring it to life. <laughs>